Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. You'll have to pardon my voice. I got a bit of a cold here, but I'm getting through it. So we're gonna do another collaboration with my friend Alessandro, and he came up with a great technique to make this, this vacuum packed plastic look. And it's a really fun technique using some of the new simulation features in S26. So let's jump right in. All right, so we have our object right here, which is this guy on a plate, and we're gonna vacuum pack him in plastic. First thing we're gonna do is right click on this null, and we're going to go to simulation tags and collider. So this is the new collider tag in S26, and we're just gonna change a couple things right here. We're gonna change the bounce to zero and the friction to one, and that's all we're gonna do. And now we're gonna have a piece of plastic wrap down and vacuum into this object. And we just made a very simple cube here with a large fillet on it. And this is gonna drop down onto this object. All right, so we're gonna right click and go to simulation tags and we're gonna use the new cloth simulation in S26. And we're gonna change some of the properties in here as well. Um, for starters, we're gonna change the bendiness up quite a bit to 10. And we're gonna change the friction so that we have a lot of friction as well. This is pretty thick, so we'll go to 0.25. And the last thing we'll do is change the mass to five. And I guess we could change the quads to double if we wanted to. So we are gonna play with balloon, but for right now, let's just hit play and see what this looks like. And it doesn't look like much is happening, so we're gonna change some of the settings in the scene. And what we're gonna do, instead of going to Control D and playing with the simulation tab, we're just gonna make a new simulation object here. And in this simulation object, we can change everything like the gravity and the substeps of this animation. And to activate all of these, all we have to do is drag these tags into the elements here. So we'll drag our cloth tag and our collider tag into here. And now this simulation object is controlling all the dynamics in this simulation. So we're gonna change the gravity to minus 300, so it's a lot less gravity. And if we wanna increase the quality of this simulation, we can increase the substeps to 40, and we can increase the iterations to two. Uh, let's check simulate before generators, and I think that's about all we need to change for right now. So let's hit play and we'll see what happens. And you can see that that cube is now falling down and it's wrapping itself over this object right here, which is looking quite nice. But you'll notice that it's just basically draping itself over here. It's not really vacuum packing and sucking up into that object. And the way we're gonna get that effect is by going to the cloth tag and turning on the new balloon feature in S26. And we're gonna change the expansion time to 35. So this effect happens over 35 frames. And instead of one on overpressure, we're gonna make it really small to 0 0.01. And then it's gonna suck this cube and it's gonna suck it right into this object and have the effect of a vacuum pack. So we'll hit play again, we'll see what this looks like. And you can see that it's now draping down but then also sucking in tight on this object and it's looking really good. You can see that there's a little bit of a bubble here on this corner. You could go into the simulation settings and you could play around with some of the settings like the substeps and the iterations if you wanna smooth that out a little bit, but this looks really good. And you will notice, so if we take a, a subdivision surface and we put that envelope into it, you can see that we're punching through the scene and revealing some of the base, which we don't wanna do, it's not very accurate. If we go to the simulation scene, I believe if you just increase the collision passes to three, I believe that will fix it, but we'll run the simulation one more time and check. I think that should make the collisions a little bit cleaner, so we'll see here. And then also one thing I noticed was that I uh, increased the damping quite a bit to 50% and that actually helped out a lot as well. So you could play with that damping effect if you wanna change your results. All right, so now we're getting a nice result where it lays down and then over the course of 30 frames, 35 frames, it starts to suck into that object. And it looks to me like the collisions are a little bit more accurate now. So we'll go to something like this and then pause it and we'll turn that subdivision surface back on and now you can see that it's very clean. There's no intersections with that base object. So from here, we could uh, save this out. It's a little bit dense, but you can always change the subdivision surface to one if you wanted to. But I'm just gonna hit C on this, and that's gonna bake this whole thing down. And we can delete all these simulation things now, and now we have this object. And let's turn off the lines here so we can see this better. So now we have our object below, and then we have this plastic piece on top. 
And all we have to do is put a nice clear translucent plastic material on here and you're gonna have the effect of this little guy being vacuum packed into his container. And it's all courtesy of the new features in S26, including that balloon effect, which is really handy. I hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.